As it starts to get hotter, it is important to keep in mind the dangers of leaving kids in cars. Unfortunately, this is a common tragedy. Every year, dozens of parents forget their young kids in the back seat. Last year, 51 children died after being left in hot cars. Safety advocates are now working with Congress to use technology to prevent this from happening. They want a warning system installed in cars to alert drivers when someone is left in the car. It really is yeah. too common of a tragedy, but it's... Yeah. Gosh, it's one of those things when we do these stories and you talk to them that it, it's just they forget. Yeah, it, and it's it, so dangerous. It, it's it's innocent, and, and they, they do it. It's a mistake, and then mm -hmm. you know obviously you can't, you can't make it up. But right, it, it is tragic, and it doesn't have to be a hundred degree day or even right. a ninety degree day for for it to be deadly. It just has to be Florida. <laughs> exactly. I mean, any time of the year it can happen. But obviously, we want to kind of remind you as we get into the, the warmer yeah. months. Have a look at this this graph here. I want to show you this because a day like today, so temperatures right now are right around 80 degrees. If if you just were to let your car hang out there for 10 minutes, obviously turned off, no AC going, it would only take 10 minutes for that temperature inside your car to warm up to around 100 degrees. Give it another 30 minutes, that temperature has warmed up to about 115 degrees. And if you let your car sit there for about an hour, which may be about the time that it would take you to go in and do your grocery shopping, the temperature inside your car is above 120 to 125 degrees, just 60 minutes. And that's on the, the low end. I would imagine sometimes it could get even hotter than that.